Hello developers, in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a keylogger in JavaScript. As you can see that I have already posted an article about this topic, JavaScript keylogger tutorial on my blog codingdiksha.com. I have given this article link on the video description. You can check it out. You have to create three files for this project. The first one is index.html and the second one is keylogger.js and the third one is keylogger.php. Yes, PHP is used to uh, request the data. Okay, let's move on to the tutorial. I have created a folder called JavaScript for this project. As you can see that there is no files inside this folder. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as a code editor. Now I'm opening the project folder. Yes, I successfully opened the project folder. Now I'm going to create uh, three files. The first one is index.html. I copied the HTML code and pasted it here and save the file as index.html. Don't forget to uh, change the save as type as all files. Right. Now I'm going to uh, create the second file keylogger.js. I copied the JavaScript code, pasted it in a new file and save the file as keylogger.js. I hope you guys know that JS means JavaScript. It is the JavaScript extension. That's it. Now I'm going to create the third file keylogger.php. I copied the PHP code and pasted it here and thus and save the file as keylogger.php right now i'm going to explain the code as you can see that in in index.html uh, there is nothing new just i included the javascript file using script tag right inside the body section you can find that uh, the form uh, that contains the input uh, elements and the button there is nothing new here. Okay, let's move on to the JavaScript part. First, I have created a variable called keys and assigned it as empty. After that, I created a variable called URL and assigned my uh, server URL, right? We have to call the keylogger.php using this URL variable. On document uh, on key press, we created a function uh, to get the keystrokes. Finally, we saved the keys into the variable, uh, keystrokes into the variable called keys. After that, we set the interval using window.setInterval function. If the keys length uh, greater than zero, then uh, we used the new uh, image function source equal to URL plus keys, right? That's it. Uh, let's move on to the keylogger.php part. Here, uh, I included the headers and the file name as data.txt, uh, in which location we have to uh, store the keystrokes. We have to store the keystrokes at uh, data.txt, right? You have to create a empty file uh, using this name in your server. That's it. I'm using FileZilla to access my server. Here you can see that inside public, public HTML, I created a folder called JavaScript Keylogger for this project. You can see that there is no files inside this uh, folder. Now I'm going to move these three files to my server using FileZilla. Yeah, it is successfully moved. Now I'm going to uh, open the project https demo.codingdiction.com yes it successfully opened i forgot to create one new empty file create new data.txt right okay i'm going to fill up this form ranjit at gmail.com and password that's it. You don't have to click the login button too. When you uh, started to typing, then every key st uh, strokes will be saved to the file called data.txt, right? Now I'm going to, uh, as you can see that uh, 
txt file size is zero when I created a new file. Now I'm going to refresh uh, refresh the server. You can see that the file size is changed to 21. Now I'm going to open this data.txt file. Yeah, you can see that I typed ranjit at gmail.com then demo. All the keystrokes are uh, stored into a new file called data.txt. That's it guys. I hope uh, this tutorial helps you to create your key logger using JavaScript. If you have any doubts about this tutorial, then please comment. I will help you. Please note that this tutorial only for educational purpose. Don't use this tutorial to store someone uh, personal information. I hope you understand. Thank you for watching this video.